Hey, what's up guys? Second crew over here back again with some more FTB Skies Expert Mode. Oh yeah, so first off, we got started harnessing elements in Elemental Craft and we continued our quest towards mana. And we also got started with Batania a little bit. Between episodes, I did a lot of work. I tore down most of my create stuff to build this. Hopefully I have enough stress units to support this. Yes, I do. Uh, let's turn this on. Okay, it's going that way. Was not sure which way it was going, so I need to put the items in where they go. Uh, so coke bricks, yeah. This is this is the last thing we did last episode. We took a look at the coke brick thing, and uh, yeah, it it took it took a bit of time. So let's do sandstone here. Uh, shoot, it was sandstone, then clay, then ash brick. So I made a blast furnace between cut uh, between episodes uh, to make my ash bricks. Uh, let's see. What else did I do? I mean, I made all the stuff. I made bronze or I made brass, which gives me brass lanterns for some reason. And also deployer it was all uh, also deployer was a quest. I I figured out that there's also this quest here. Yeah, it's, it, most methods of producing stress units have been disabled. Okay. Starting from the hand crank, you quickly want to move towards rickety water wheels. Shortly after you want to focus on a more permanent solution, your next step up will be the diesel generator. These will have multiple tiers and can accept multiple tiers of fuel. Combination of the best possible available of is, stre is key to get the most stress units. Thanks. I might as well grab these brass lanterns, because why not? Alright. How do you even make these? Okay, so I'm gonna take a guess and say that these are like uh, these are like only available if Creed is in, but I could be wrong. So, all right. So then we put in the fire essence. Uh, put it in. Hold on. So, I really hope I did this math correctly. Yeah. So four. Yeah, four times through twenty essence. Yeah. So you need eighty of each of these. Yep. I did. I did my math correct. Good. There you go. That's uh, just going to be doing its thing for a bit, so uh, yeah, that's where we're starting the episode. We're starting the episode by uh, processing a bunch of incomplete cook bricks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why this is the texture for it, but uh, I'm not going to question it. I mean, uh, I mean, it's a good way. It's a good. It's a good. It's a good way to encourage more create usage. I also had to repair these between episodes because uh, the durability was getting a little low. All right, let's put these in here for round two. This is gonna take a, a, a quite a bit of time. So let me come back. All right, there we go, 20 Coke bricks. So that's the first thing. That's the first thing I, uh, I'm gonna get done. Next thing, we need 20 blast bricks. So we need Nether bricks, creosote oil, ever burning air, and okay. So we need a so we need a spout and a mechanical press. I mean, I have the press, so I need a spout now, and I also need to extend this belt one more in order in order to do the next part of it. So give me this, and give me this, give me that. Okay, so chest. I don't have another belt, so I'm just gonna have to do this to uh, to redo the belt. So boom, and then funnel. Boom. We'll do press here. We need to take this out, and we'll need to get uh, we'll need to get a spout. Spout. So copper casing and a dried kelp. Where the heck is my kelp? Here we go. So there is actually a much faster way to, or, well, it's also free to dry kelp. You can put kelp in the drying basin to dry it. Because, yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, a good thing I kept that copper ingot in my inventory. A, a loot bee visited between episodes as well. So, so yeah, we're, uh, we're good there. Uh, okay, strip that, the copper age. Okay. There you go. One spout. That'll go there. We're gonna need uh, we're gonna need one more cogwheel as well. 
All right, that should be fine, though. We could do that, no problem. Do I have enough stress units, though? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Okay, so... So, cook bricks, done. Blast bricks. Okay, so we need 80 nether bricks, but I did see that you can toss regular bricks into spirit fire. So, how much clay do I have? Probably not a lot, since I just used it. Where is all my clay? It's in here. Okay, uh, what about, do I have any bricks? Do I have any, like, of these? Nope. Cool, of course they don't. All right, uh, so give me a stack of this. The easiest way to get, or the easiest way to uh, to get clay in this pack is by sieving, uh, sieving a well, waterlog sieving sand. So yeah, and I need eighty of these smelted. So yeah, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be fun, especially considering how much garbage I get. Uh, where's my there it is. Okay, so we do that, this, this, and this. I have way too much stuff in my inventory. Let's go ahead and put all the all the junk that I don't need right now in here. Okay, coke brick I am gonna need, so I should probably go ahead and I should probably go ahead and get this built. Um No, not here. Probably do it somewhere else. I think I need to take this down. I mean, I mean, this looks cool, but I need to take this down. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just remove. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, the. Let's go ahead and remove the campfire seating. And probably remove that campfire as well because, uh, yeah, that campfire has burned me a couple of times, literally, and uh, it's very annoying when it happens. Okay. Yeah, uh, goodbye, campfire. Get a couple pieces of charcoal, but yeah, I think I think it's for the best. So let's do Let's go ahead and build this out, not there. There we go. Uh boom. Concentrated carbon. All right. What do we got here? Spout. Oh, it's a, a, a depot. Nice. Depots are handy. I like these. All right. So let's take a look here. So if we want creosote oil. All right. So we need two and a half buckets of creosote oil in order to... Hold on. Wait, no, I, I might, no, I need, I need 500 per blast brick. And we need 20 of these. So 10 buckets? Oh boy. All right, so that's gonna be two blocks of coal and that's gonna take an obscenely long time. So maybe just give me a second while I wait, or hold on, let's see. Is there anything else I can be doing in the meantime? I mean, I'm gonna be sieving this. Uh, I need, I need some air essence. Um, let's double check how many I need. So, so twenty. I need eighty of these. Uh, I get sixteen per smelt of air essence. So, oh, that's. I only need five air essence. Okay, that's not bad. Luckily, I've been building up source between episodes. So, yeah. Uh, this, this is not going to be super entertaining, so let me come back in a bit after after all this crafting is done. Okay, so I wanted to make a stove as well because I do really like... Uh-oh. There's a goat. There's going to be a goat soon. Where are you, goat? There you are. Don't you dare. Hey, you don't. Prepared for your shenanigans, but yeah, stove. Uh, the stove is really nice. This can do campfire crafts, but 
I really should have thought of this as well. I should get one more brick so I can make a skillet. Uh, so four iron and a brick. Yep. Where's all my clay? There's some in there. There's some in here. All right. Yep. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna need a, just a little bit more time with this. So give me just a sec. Oh wait, hold on. I can pull these out. I just need to toss this in, and I need a and I need another piece. Uh, need another piece of uh, tiny coal. Or I just need to use some of the sticks that I got. So, yeah. So, fun fact, you can also use the skillet as a weapon, but the way I'm going to use it is uh, on the stove. Yep, so you could do that. Use your other hand to hold ingredients. Uh, thanks. But yeah, you can use you could use the stove as a campfire craft, but you can also use the skillet to craft multiple things at once. And wow, I have a lot of coke. Uh, wow, I have a lot of crude soda oil. Um, let's see, hold on, uh, tank, how difficult is it to make this? Not difficult at all, all right, that's good because I am going to need, I am going to need a tank to store all of the uh, creosote oil that I'm making for this craft. I don't think I have a configurator though. Yeah, I don't have a configurator. I think I'm gonna need to. I think I'm gonna need to make a fluid hopper. Uh, five more bricks, dude. Dude, how many more? How many more bricks could I possibly need? My God, man. All right, this is a. Uh, this is just gonna be weird. I have no idea how many. I have no idea how much more fuel I'm gonna need. So. Let me come back in a while. Oh, while we're waiting, I can go ahead and uh, I can go ahead and toss these in. I need, uh, I want to get some nether brick, or I want to get some nether rack going as soon as I can get to the material generator anyway. So let's just do this. Cause I think there is a quest in this. Yeah, there's a quest here. Let's see, what's going on here? The stove is an improved campfire as I can cook six foods at once instead of four. Okay, yeah, there you go. Let's see. Carrots. Where do, have I gotten carrots yet? I actually don't even know. All right. Mm. Cooking pot. Are you kidding me? I could have gotten a skillet for doing this. Dude, come on. Could have gotten a skillet by doing that. That is just perfect. That is just perfect. All right. Maybe just give me a second. Oh my god, this zombie is wearing full armor. That really takes a long time. The good news is I have coke blocks. The bad news is I. I mean, again, it just takes so much time to get uh, to get all, uh, get that creosote oil. So let's just do this. Not what I wanted. I wanted to do that. But yeah, there we go. Now we can uh, now we can get started on this. So yeah, I mean this this doesn't look great because I had to do this. So yeah, let's just let's get this going. So we need oh wait we need magma blocks. Totally forgot about that. Oh boy. All right. So let's see. A bucket of lava with some gravel makes one. I need twenty of these. So we need twenty buckets of lava. If we want to go that route. Don't have a mechanical drying basin, so I can't do that. Um, let's see. I mean, the only other the only other one I can see is like fire essence surrounding uh, surrounded by stone. I need three of them. That's like that's like the only other method I see. Because I do not have enough lava in there, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do this. So let's do this really quickly. Might as well kill some mobs while I'm here, and I'll be right back as soon as I have this stuff. Pretty easy. Uh, luckily, I had some tough in here that I wasn't gonna be using. So yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. Get out of here, dirt, and hit it. Sweet. 
If, if the press is going to take the longest amount of time. So, yeah. That's great. Love that. Alright, well, this is going to take some time, so let me come back in a while. There we go, we got our blast bricks. So... Yeah, that's uh, that's a thing that we've uh, that's a thing that we've managed to accomplish finally. Holy crap! Now we can get some steel, which means we're we're moving up. We're moving up in the world, and uh, do not put the steel. Uh, do not put the blast bricks where they don't go. Okay, there we go. Yep. Nope. Not there. Because then I have to do that. All right. Where is my hammer? There it is. Really hot topic. Perfect. So now we can get steel. It takes 20 seconds to turn iron into steel. But then we'll be really close to getting a mana pool. Because, let's see, so we need steel plate. We need a springaline shard. And then we need one of each essence around a living rock. Living rock is infested stone? Why? Why is Living Rock annoying in this pack? Oh my god. I... Oh no. Not again. Not the goat again. Come on, man. Don't... You stay away. Okay. Good. Good, the goat stayed away. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and take all of this stuff down. And, uh, oop, not that. That's not what I wanted. Why can you do that? All right, give me just a second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, repair uh, what I broke for my create setup. And, uh, yeah. Be right back. All right, stone's done. Uh... Again, why do we have to haunt it? it? Like that's that's just annoying. That's just an annoying recipe. Why would you why would you have us do this? Oh my god, man. Uh, also also I'm completely out of storage. I need to do this. Yeah, I need I need I need space. I need space to put stuff away. Uh, there's dirt up here. Fine. I also have a lot of salt up here. Oh wait, no. Hold on, these copper shards... Realistically, I should just take all the copper shards and mix them into raw copper. Because, like... Yeah, realistically, that's what I should be doing with all these... With all this copper here. Because, like, I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use this anytime soon. Alright, let's see here. So, give me this. Put it here. Nope. God, put it here. Give me this and go. Yeah, just give me a second to uh, get rid of this stuff, because holy crap. So, also, killing 50 zombies gives me quest reward for a zombie villager egg, a golden apple, and a splash potion of weakness. That's basically just telling me, hey, you get a free villager. So, yeah, we need to... Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, that's a thing. Right. Oh, I need to turn this off. Uh, turn it off. Give me that. Okay, good. Uh, rock hopper, you can go in here. Realist realistically, I should, uh, I should be, uh, turning this zombie... Or, I should be... I should be turning this villager... Or, zombie villager back into a zombie... Or, back into a villager, so, yeah. Um... So, yeah, we could just do that and drop this on the ground so that way my dank picks it up. What will happen next? Be sure to tune in to the next episode of Vet to Be Sky's Expert. Yeah.